Well hello folks and this is my owner's review of a 2015 Suzuki SV650. I've owned this bike now for just over a month, done about three or four hundred miles on it so I just thought I'd give you a quick update on what I think of it. Just a bit of background on myself, I've owned motorbikes for the last 40 years um, I've had all sorts of shapes and sizes, different manufacturers. I've currently got a Z1000SX and a Triumph Speed Triple as well as this little beastie. Um, I bought this bike basically because they were stopped manufacturing these in 2016 and I always looked on them as being a really reliable, cheap, fun bike bit of a cult status to them so I thought before they all end up in the scrapper yard I'd try and pick off a, a nice well looked after one and keep it for the long term for when I get old and decrepit and I can't move around the heavier bikes so this one's a 2015 um, I bought it with 780 miles on the clock one owner yes that's right 780 so it was barely running and it's pretty much like a brand new bike um, it's a V-twin configuration for those of you that don't know you can see the V-twin there the engine um, it's 645 cc's it's got 72 brake horsepower it weighs 198 kilograms it's got a six-speed gearbox um, quite a torquey V-twin motor so all the powers quite low down so it's pointless revving it past about six or seven because you're just revving it for revving's sake uh, these engines are renowned for being 100 percent reliable and able to do really ridiculous amounts of mileage as long as they're well looked after of course and that's another reason why i bought this bike because basically it's a pure motorbike there's no gadgets on it there's no traction control there's no abs there's no power levels, there's nothing, it's just a motorbike. So from a maintenance point of view, it's perfect for a, an amateur mechanic like myself. So I serviced it the other week when I bought the bike, changed the coolant, changed the air filter, changed the oil, changed the filter, because it had been sat in someone's garage for the last five or six years. And I put a new set of Pirelli Angel GT tyres on it because the tyres that were on it still had the bobbles on them so they were the OEM tyres but they were like concrete again due to being sat on a garage floor for the last five or six years so basically now the bike's absolutely perfect it runs like a dream the engine sounds sweet as a nut and um, yeah I'm having a bit of fun on it obviously it's a bit different to my other bikes and bikes I've had in the past but it's a real fun bike to ride um, we'll take it for a spin and I'll show you what I mean. So it's a Saturday morning. The missus has just gone out to do some shopping. So I thought it'd be rude not to take the old bike out and have a bit of fun. So as you can see, we've got the uh, standard uh, clip-ons on this. So you ride in position is slightly forward, you're leaning forward a bit so there's a bit of weight on the wrists um, which is a bit different than what I'm used to but hey ho um, it's got a 17 litre fuel tank which doesn't sound a lot but I've measured the mile per gallon on this and it's actually doing 71 to the gallon so it's fantastic on fuel, you've got a fuel range of about 210 miles before you need to fill it up again which is brilliant so as far as costs are concerned this bike is really really low um, the insurance was 74 pounds for a year fully comprehensive but obviously that's specific to me I'm in my mid 50s and live in a reasonable area so you might find it different um, but yeah once you purchase the bike then your costs for running it are neg negligible really you've got obviously your road tax and your insurance and then 70 to the gallon if you're riding it half sensible so turn the engine on and that's what you get, it's a basic display, you've got a trip meter, you've got um, trip A, trip B, you've got your mile, mileage, so this bike's done 1118 miles, you've got the time there and the temperature of the engine, 
you've not got a fuel gauge so basically you use the trip meter I just set the zero the trip A every time I fill up so I've done 57 miles nearly there so I've got another 150 before I have to fill it up and then you've got your usual warning lights, your fuel, your neutral oil etc etc so clutch in for this one and there you go you can hear the thump of the V-twin which is what I love, it's a little character this bike is so, sounds beautiful it's got some castor oil in it, brand new, so everything's running like a dream at the moment. So let's take her for a little spin and see how we go. So this bike, it's got 72 brake horsepower as I mentioned, um, which isn't a great deal. But at the end of the day, on these British roads of ours, I'm not sure how much more you need, to be honest. Because I've had this bike now for about four or five weeks. And from a fun perspective, it's been brilliant. I've kind of got used to the idea that I can run this bike for a full day's riding for about 10 quid of fuel and have so much fun on it there's no need to get the big bikes out unless I'm taking my son or my wife on the back so we're cruising along 50 mile an hour 4,000 revs 55 um, probably getting the best part of 75 to the gallon out of it at the moment it's just a good all-round fun bike really mirrors are quite good they're, fo they're fold, fold in so you can tuck them out of the way when you put the bike in the garage um, you got a good view in the rear view mirror there's no problem there you've got your rev counter there to give you the information of what the engines up to Speedo, and what else do you need for a good ride out? I've got my rucksack on my back, with some drink in it, and I'm off, on, off over to Wales. Just have a little day blasting around the uh, country roads in Wales and hopefully get a bit of sunshine. The fairing on this bike, it's a half fairing, so I know you can get an extension to it so that you can put the, bottom, the lower fairing on it as well. They're about £230 off eBay. But to be honest with you, you don't really need it because the half fairing does quite a good job. It certainly bounces the air over my head so I'm getting no buffeting on my crash helmet but uh, and, and also on the body as well, I can't really feel much to be honest. You will get a bit of wind noise on this microphone because it is only a cheap job. Just a, a quick eBay job that costs about a tenner. So no doubt you can hear a load of wind buffeting about. But I'm not like a professional vlogger or anything, so I just thought I'd throw this video up to give people an idea who were thinking of getting the bike. So yeah, it's, uh, it, it's, it's a good bike if you want to use like a daily, for a daily commuter. Because these engines are ultra-reliable, it's the same engine as in the uh, V-Strom 650 and in various other models that Suzuki have used over the years so you'll find that this engine has been tried and tested more than a few occasions I mean there's regularly I see these bikes, these SVs with about 40, 50,000 miles on the clock and of course they've all had about seven or eight owners and uh, they use them for mini twin race category in the UK so they, they're used as a race bike as well because the handling is really good so I was really pleased when I managed to get this one with such a, such a low mileage on it and it's been well looked after by the look of it and I'll look after it as well so I shall be keeping this one into my old years and it'll probably be the last bike I own because it's nice and light, nice and manoeuvrable and cheap to run so when I retire I'll get 